EECP stands for the Early Entry Control Point. The uh, idea behind that is to have boots on ground or nearby in case of emergency to have an early exit team to be able to deploy readily to an uh, emergency situation before the uh, rest of the group. The EECP, the Early Entry Control Point, is pretty much the tip of the spear for Task Force 46. If something were to happen, we'd get the gear ready for the main body once they arrive, but we'd be the first ones out the door. It is uh, the first response for any kind of incident that happens, uh, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, or any kind of terrorist act. They have a quick response within 30 minutes to an hour to get everything ready for the main body to make its way down and head out to where we are required to go. So the ECP is broken down into two teams. One team is um, cold, so that means that they're teleworking and um, that's when they get a couple days off. And then while they're cold, the other team is hot. Right now my team is hot. Being hot means we are within 30 minutes response time to start getting ready to coordinate with the Air Force, to load up our, our trucks and our tricons, we fly. If we are going to do a ground movement to start loading up the trucks, getting them online, getting ready. So while we were getting the uh, ground ready for the main body, we also prepared ourselves. We started to load our own baggage onto uh, aircraft pallets. We have pre-stage equipment that is ready to go. So we could be out and gone to a disaster situation within four hours while the rest of the unit is still uh, piling together and coming out this way to uh, join us later on. Some of the daily tasks that I do is uh, making sure that the gear is ready to go and tied down, secured, and so if the call does come, the main body doesn't have to worry about coming out and doing that job. We, that set the, the gear is already tied down, secured, and we can worry about reacting to what we need to do and get out the door. My job in the 3 and 3-5 three is to uh, maintain a situational awareness uh, and let everyone know inside of our organization what's going on. So my specific tasks are just like any NCIC, um, taking care of the troops, making sure everybody is accounted for, um, making sure everybody has everything they need. Some of the biggest challenges we had going forward originally was uh, getting all of our equipment prepared, uh, getting our uh, storage uh, boxes loaded, perhaps in catalogs, so that way they could be loaded on the aircraft uh, quickly and efficiently. Now we're at a point of just uh, monitoring and so staying ready, uh, keeping enough personnel out here to uh, adequately respond to the missions uh, as needed. The exercise we did, and that's one of the best uh, experiences I've had since we've been here, just seeing that all actually kind of how that would unfold and just the pace and the intensity that this unit can bring to that so, and, and how quickly and professionally the, the, everything, everything got done is, was pretty impressive to see. Some of the biggest rewards I think of being on uh, these orders since all of this has started is to be able to see uh, what the nation's response has been to the various crises that has come up, uh, to be able and ready and available to respond to whatever might happen. If it's disaster response for uh, COVID-19 or uh, standing by for any of the other situations around the country as they've been coming up, we get to see it all, know what happens and react as needed. The most rewarding part is that we're in the Army National Guard, this is what we're here for. We are here to respond to when our nation needs us, and that's exactly what we're doing. I mean, that's what we're here for, and we responded amazingly.